welcome to 7 Seconds Quick Tips. We are still in the front room of the entrance into the home in Colorado Springs. Again, the focus of 7 Seconds is you have 7 to 10 seconds to really grab the heart of the buyer. So most of my time is actually spent making sure these first rooms really grab the attention of the potential people to buy the home. So there's a couple more things I wanna share with you in this front room. The first one is actually the curtains. One of the things I try to do in every house is I, I try to put curtains in there to give it a finishing touch. Now, I don't want the curtains to overpower the room. What I mean by that is they should add sort of a coziness or an interest level, but they shouldn't be something that they focus on when they come into the room. When I first came into this house, there was actually like dark brown curtains on these windows. And I came in, it just like didn't feel good. I don't know if you know what I mean, but when you walk into a house, sometimes you feel really good about it and sometimes you just don't feel good. And I did not have a good feeling. And I realized it was because it was so dark. So what I did is I actually kept the old rods up, which you know maybe could be replaced, but I just used these curtains that are nice and airy. You can use them really in any height of windows because you can sort of bunch them on the bottom or even trim them if you want to. But these for one panel are under $10 at Ikea. I'm telling you, I've used these in million dollar homes. I just love them. And when I put them up, it just totally opened up this space. And it also just helped to, the yard is beautiful. It complemented the yard. So if you have dark curtains in a home, I would encourage you, one of the first things you should do is get some curtains like this, or you could get off-white sheer curtains at Walmart. I've done that too and get those in the room to lighten it up and really help to add to the beauty of the home even on the outside. The next part that is really critical is getting the correct artwork. Now, when you stage, you don't wanna have real expensive pieces because honestly, you get things banged around a little bit. Uh, and so you don't wanna put that at risk so that if one of your movers drops a picture, it's you know not devastating for you. And also again, to keep things light, I usually go with the canvases. Now, I don't usually get artwork here, but there was a time I was walking through Walmart working on something and I happened to see this piece of art in the clearance area. And if you see, it's real bold and I needed that and it perfectly tied into the black, white, and red. And so these are poppies, it's a little bit abstract and it just really, really frames this room. It just, it just fits beautifully. So there's the artwork there. And then in the dining room, I'll bring you over here. Again, not that it's overly dated, but there are dated elements, even like the light fixtures are brass, okay? It is not every house that I would be able to put a piece of artwork like this. But if you notice, it's actually kind of like a poppy. So it ties into the living room art but also it just brings focus and a little bit of a contemporary look into the dining room. The living room and dining room are in one space and they're not real large. So I had to find out a way that I could actually create um, a look in the dining room that looked fresh, but it didn't close it in. And so what I chose in this dining room was I just left the glass table clear. I didn't put any plates on it and that was totally on purpose is because I wanted to keep it airy in here. And then uh, at Hobby Lobby, I just picked up these flowers. I really like them. It's got kind of an oriental look, again, a little more contemporary. So I, I took a lot of time and I bent them just in the right way that I wanted to. And I actually stand at the front door and I look at the flowers and I stage it based on what I'm seeing coming through the front door. I just added some uh, dark brown uh, leather chairs, uh, which gives it a nice look. And also the placement of the chairs, I actually put a lot of thought to. So if I would have put them square, okay, it would have started to go into the living area and I just didn't have the space for that. 
So a lot of the houses that I stage, you'll see I actually put the chairs a little offset, um, which is pleasing people like angles, but it also gives me the space that I need to keep the two rooms looking like there is room for all the furniture. And the last thing I'll touch on in this room is uh, there are times where you wanna spend a little bit more money on a piece. And that's the case with this. I actually purchased this at Pottery Barn. I just love the look of it. There's a lot of character to it. And so I knew with the somewhat dated brass fixture, I needed to make sure this vase really popped. And it also ties into the silver in the other room where I had the apples. So I, I just got this at Pottery Barn. I placed it in the middle. And so now when you walk in this room in the first seven to 10 seconds, you're viewing the living room and the dining room. It looks cohesive, it looks airy, and it really helps you just fall in love with the home. Thank you so much for joining me on 7 Seconds Quick Tips, and I'll see you next time.